Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. Did you know that you can swim with sharks here on Oahu on purpose? You can, let's get into it. I'm going to take you with us as we do the shark cage dive. I'll show you guys how it works and how to get there, options, what to wear and bring, and an overall review. So as for how it works, the shark cage tours are located up on the north shore of Oahu in Haleiwa Harbor. Tours run throughout the day and the morning ones have the calmest ocean conditions. You check in at the kiosk and from there you board the boat and head a few miles offshore to where the sharks are. So we're on the boat right now. We're heading offshore about three miles offshore. We're gonna go check out some of the sharks. We're told there's gonna be Galapagos sharks and reef sharks. So we're gonna keep you guys posted and take you guys with us. The crew sets up the cage and you can already see the sharks from the boat and the sharks are huge. The first group will hop in the cage and they'll get about 20 minutes of time in the shark cage. You get provided with a snorkel mask to check out the sharks underwater. You'll use your snorkel and mask. Then that group pops out and a second group will hop in. Same thing, you'll have about 20 minutes of shark time. We were in the second group and I did get a little seasick. Looking back, I would probably recommend getting in the first group if you're prone to any motion sickness or feel a little bit off. That way you're in the water sooner instead of staying on the boat waiting to get in the shark cage. When you're in the cage, you're snorkeling. And again, they do provide you with a snorkel mask. There's also handrails around the cage if you wanted to use it to hang on. Next, how to get there. Haleiwa Harbor is about 36 miles from Waikiki. The best way to get out to the shark cage is by driving out. To allow for traffic and parking, I give yourselves at least an hour and a half to get up there. If you're heading up to the North Shore, you might like this video for nine things to do on the North Shore. This video is actually part of that itinerary series. At the time of this filming, there's also an add-on transportation option. If you don't have a rental car, that might be a good option for you. Speaking of options, the tour runs throughout the morning and early afternoon. We did the 7.30 a.m. tour and I'm so glad that we did. In general, early morning tours have the calmest ocean conditions. There's also an option where you can go as an observer. This means that you're paying a lower price to be on the boat and you're not getting in the water with the shark cage. This is also a good option if some people in the group want to swim with sharks and some people don't. What are your thoughts on the shark cage dive? Have you done it? If so, what did you like? If not, what's stopping you? Comment down below. Next, what to wear and pack. Main things to bring and wear. First off, wear your swimsuit underneath your clothes and makes it super easy once you get on the boat. All the footage that I filmed here is from my GoPro. I would highly recommend bringing a GoPro with a float handle. That way you don't have to worry about dropping your GoPro and it's sinking to the bottom of the ocean. A snorkel mask is included, but I always prefer to bring my own gear, so I packed my own snorkel and mask. I'd also recommend packing polarized sunglasses. I'll leave a link in the description box below for the ones that I got on Amazon. I'd also recommend bringing a hat. Next, I'd also bring a refillable water bottle. I usually bring my normal 22 ounce water bottle that clips onto my dry bag. And of course, make sure to bring a towel and change of clothes for after snorkeling. And lastly, I say this on almost every snorkel boat tour that I go on, make sure that you bring a dry bag. With this tour specifically, I always end up bringing filming gear whenever I travel, whenever I'm on a snorkel boat tour. And having a dry bag keeps everything in one place and it's super easy to make sure nothing gets soaked. I would highly recommend a dry bag. My personal favorite is a 25 liter. It's the perfect size. You can fit a towel, change of clothes, any filming gear, cell phone, camera, wallet, anything that you don't want to get wet on the actual cruise itself. I'll leave a link in the description box below for some of my favorites. Overall, this was such a fun tour. My adrenaline was all over the place. Seeing the sharks from the water on the boat and actually getting in the shark cage to see them up close, it's, it's pretty humbling to see such majestic creatures. They were absolutely huge, and I'll put in some clips from the tour itself, and as you can see, the sharks get pretty close to us. The water is also so deep that you can't see the bottom. If you like this video, you can check out our itinerary ideas series where I show you other things you can do here on the island of Oahu. You might also like this video on 14 things to do here on Oahu, or this video on seven unforgettable Hawaii experiences. And if there's any other Hawaii videos you'd like to see, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Right, um, you know, me and these sharks, we're homies now.